Hello and welcome back to another exciting Turing tutorial. This is Intermediate Programming and in the language of Turing. So, today what we're going to be looking at is the favorite command of people, IFS. Now, I should have taught this earlier because it really helps out with a lot of stuff. So, I'm just going to teach this right now because I've already missed out on teaching it for a while. So, basically what an IF does is it does exactly what you think. If something is equal to something, then do something else. So, basically, the, the basic structure of it is just if. And then, when you write if, you can set, like, a variable name, or you can, you can just set, like, different things. So, we're just going to start with a basic program. So, I'm going to say, put, and I'll write, what is your password? Or, I can just write, maybe, password. Now I'll press, um, I'll type it here. Now I'll write get pass, and I've even, I haven't even made it a variable for pass yet. So variable pass is going to become a string. Now I'll come down here, and then I'll write here if pass is equal to hello, then, and you need then, you'll go indent a bit, and you'll write. I'll write CLS put correct. Now I can also do and that this is an N. I can also do else, which means if anything else is typed, uh, CLS and then put incorrect and then exclamation point exclamation point and then you have to write end if for you to find end the final end. So now if we run this, uh, you'll see that I'll say password, I'll write hello, correct. Now if I press, uh, now if I type in hello, or whatever in this, I'll write incorrect. Because we said that if the password is equal to hello, then we'll let, we'll let us through, and if it's anything else, then we'll write incorrect. Now there is something else we can do. We can come down here and um, make something called else if. So now else if is like another if, but in the same if. So else if pass is equal to goodbye, like that, then I'll continue down, CLS welcome. So there's correct, welcome, and incorrect. So, that's basically what this is, so I'm going to run this again. Oops, I... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to write put. Put. Okay, now if I run this, if I write hello, then it'll say correct. Now, if I run this again, and I say goodbye, then it'll say welcome, because that's our second else if. Um, now finally if I write something random, incorrect, because we did not set it to say that. So, now that's basically what an if statement does. It's really easy, you can do a lot of stuff with this, like, for example, uh, character keys. I'll show that in a bit, like how to make your character move. But if arrow left arrow key is down, then move pixels left five pixels. So that's basically how this really works. It's really simple and really good to grasp, and it's a really good addition to your program. It really adds a lot of uh, quality and value to it. So anyways, that's it for this tutorial. I can't believe an if video took so little, but I'll be posting some application videos as well soon. See you on the next tutorial. Peace.